How to Calculate the Intrinsic Value of a Company Welcome back, investors. Today we will discuss about intrinsic value, what it is and how to calculate it. Don't worry, this will not be a long finance class. We will try to make it as simple as possible so that you won't get bored or distracted. But make sure you follow it through the end. Pause the video if necessary and grasp the concept. Once you are familiar with the concept, we are sure that you can value any company in 15 minutes. For our beginner investors, intrinsic value is the fair value of a company. It may differ for individual investors depending on the metrics and methods they use. So, why is it so important? Why do we have to calculate it? And what's all the fuss all about? Let's discuss today. Before we dive into the details, smash that like button so that the videos will reach a broader audience and also subscribe to our channel to get notifications while we post a new video. Let's get started. Imagine you are going to buy a brand new car. Maybe a Mercedes-Benz C300 sedan. What price will you pay for this car? Well, if you Google it, you know that a brand new car will cost you $41,400 before taxes. Let's say the dealer offers you this car for $55,000. Would you buy it? Absolutely not, because you know that the car is worth only $41,400. Well, the same scenario can be applied when you buy a stock. In case of cars, you can just Google it and find the fair value, whereas for a stock, it's not that easy. If you know the intrinsic value of a company, you know if you're paying the right price for the stock. Nobody wants to pay $10 for things that are worth one. But unlike cars, intrinsic value of a company or a stock can be calculated in several different ways. There's no one exact method to do it. And there's no one intrinsic value for a stock. It is relative to the person who's calculating it. Every investor is different. So always calculate intrinsic value using your own criteria. There are tens of thousands of financial metrics available in this internet era, and it is overwhelming to use many of them. But keeping it simple and using what's necessary will always help you both in life and investing. Today, we will show you how to calculate intrinsic value of a company using discounted cash flow method, also known as DCF. One dollar will not be worth the same in 10 years due to inflation. So by doing DCF analysis, we are actually projecting cash flow of a company for the next few years and then find out the equivalent value in today's money. To analyze a company using discounted cash flow, a company must have a positive free cash flow. What is a free cash flow? Before that, what is a cash flow? Cash flow is used to understand the movement of money. Free cash flow is the cash left over after the company pays for its expenses. For example, let's say you receive an income of $5,000. Your expenses for the month add up to $3,000. So your free cash flow is $5,000 minus $3,000, which is equal to $2,000. Easy, isn't it? In simple terms, free cash flow is the cash left after a company pays its operating expenses and capital expenditures. Don't worry, this number can be easily found on their cash flow statements, which we will show you later. Let's analyze Infosys Limited and calculate its intrinsic value. Go to investing.com, search for Infosys and select financials, and then go to cash flow, and then click annual. Scroll down and you will see free cash flow for the past four years. This is in million INR, so you have to convert it into crore INR. To do this, Simply divide the number by 10. Copy these amounts to an Excel file. Note that the years on investing.com start from right to left, but when you copy to Excel, you have to write it from left to right. The next matrix you need is growth rate. For easy calculations, we can use three year average cash flow growth rate. For a big company like Infosys, the growth rate is very low. It can be automated using Excel. Like we said, past performance doesn't guarantee future results. So the growth rate we took is actually a past performance. We need to know how the company's growth rate will be in the next 10 years. So either you can go to some research report and find the industry growth rates, or you can go to yahoofinance.com, search for emphasis, go to analysis tab, scroll down and go to growth estimates for the next five years. So here it is, 8%. Take the average of both 
and you will get 8.3%. This is the growth rate for one to five years. It will be automatically calculated by our Excel. For six to 10 years growth rate, you can either use the same value or do the research on industry growth rate. For easy calculations, we can reduce 2% from one to five years growth rate. So it's 8.3% minus 2%, which equals 6.3%. Okay, so we have our metrics for 10 years. What happens after 10 years? Well, it's hard to estimate what will happen to the company after 10 years, so we expect it to grow at a very slow rate. This growth rate after 10 years is called terminal growth rate. To be on the safe side, we expect the company to grow around 2 to 3% after the 10th year. You can use any terminal growth for your analysis and research. We will use 2% in this example. This is the formula to calculate terminal value of a company. Yeah, it's a complicated formula, so we have already added it to the Excel file. Don't worry about it. Just type in the terminal growth rate here, and it will automatically calculate it for you. We will add this Excel file in the description. Okay, next section is the discount rate. Discount rate is actually the returns you are sacrificing to invest in this stock. For example, if you put the money in a fixed deposit, you will get an interest rate of 6 to 9%, but you sacrifice this rate to invest in Infosys. So in this case, your discount rate will be 6 to 9%. This is the minimum return you expect to make. We usually use average stock market returns as discount rate, which is around 15%. Enter this value in the Excel file. Once you have this value, the Excel will automatically calculate the intrinsic value of the company. Now, for the last part. Go to Yahoo Finance, type in Infosys, and go to Statistics tab. You will see Shares Outstanding under Share Statistics. It's 4.24 billion, converted into crores, which will be 424 crores. Enter this value under Number of Shares Outstanding column, and voila! The Excel will show you the intrinsic value per share. So, as per current calculations, intrinsic value of Infosys is 404 rupees, and currently it's trading at a higher price. There's a last step to further discount the intrinsic value with a margin of safety factor. Margin of safety can be 10%, 20%, or even 50%, depending on your confidence level and the financial position of the company. So, there you go. That's how you calculate the intrinsic value of a company. Intrinsic values are imaginary. It varies for different analysts. Also, remember the quote, all intrinsic values are wrong, but some of them will help you to make a decision. Do not buy or sell a stock just by analyzing the intrinsic value. You have to understand how efficient the management is and also consider other non-financial aspects. Alternatively, instead of calculating with one growth rate, you can also use a series of growth rates to get a range of intrinsic value. We have attached the Excel file in the description below. Download and play around with it. Hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, ask below in the comments section. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up as it really motivates us to create new videos. Also, subscribe to our channel to get notifications while we post a new video.